friends welcome back to the sawmill this is kind of a short video i'm just giving you guys an idea of what's been going on here for the past week some of the work that's been happening and uh, some materials that came in as well got some logs and these things right here so update number one guys is the trusses i had these made up in virginia i think st paul virginia is where these came from i got them through lowe's and there's about 16 of them and this right here is for the main timber frame building over here which is over there i'll take you guys over there in just a second and show you what i'm talking about but i decided not to do timber frame trusses because it was just gonna take too long you know i ordered these two weeks ago and they're already here so uh this will be the trusses for the building i'll be doing a black metal roof on top of this and i will probably enclose the bottom of it as well so you don't even see these things when you walk into the barn. And uh, these are two by fours and they will be put on 24 inch centers. It looks like all the cats have followed me down here to the log yard. They're learning the ropes, guys. Got six new kittens here at the sawmill. Gives us nine cats total. It's getting out of hand here. All right, let's walk over here to the barn now or the new shop, I should say rather. It's gonna be a new wood shop. It's not gonna be a barn. It's actually going to be a shop for those new machines that I bought about a month ago. And uh, stay tuned to the end of the video. We'll go up to the sawmill and I'll show you guys what those machines are. I've not showed anybody yet as far as what was in those crates about a month ago when I brought them in. So we've decided here at the shop, the concrete slab is 30 by 30. And I pretty much decided really fast it's going to be probably way too small for my needs. So... Hopefully this week, the concrete guy will be coming over and we're gonna be pouring an, an extension to this slab right here where I'm standing. And I had my buddy Daniel come over with that Kubota and get my footers dug. Those are about two foot deep, I believe. And uh, we did those on both sides. And I may get him back over here to do another one right here in the front after Harry comes over here and does the forms. I'm not sure how big we're gonna make it. But we're gonna extend this pad at least 10 feet coming toward me, which would give me a 30 by 40 pad instead of a 30 by 30. So that will make this uh, 1200 square feet instead of 900 square feet. And uh, one of the reasons being is one of the new machines that I got in takes up a lot of room so if I come out here about 10 more feet on this extension, and that gives me 10 by 30, that should give me enough space right here for the new machine, hopefully. Guys, yeah, it's getting a little dark out here. Right here's the timber we just got in. Some really nice poplar. These cats are following me everywhere. These right here are about 24 inches, and they're nine footers. All those right there. Also, we got mixed in here. It looks like a white oak right here. Some smaller poplar saw logs right there, nice and straight, just kind of small. Another small poplar on top. And I think about two firewood logs in here. There's a firewood log right there. And on this side, probably another firewood log right there, too much of a curve. And a pretty large poplar on top with a fork in it. But we'll probably get rid of that and just have a four footer. Because a poplar does not have any kind of crotch feeder like walnut does. But some good looking stuff. Some really good sized poplar. That's about 30 inches on the diameter on this side. That's the large end right there on this log. Let's head into the shop real fast guys. And I'll show you all the new machines we got here at the mill. Exciting stuff. I can't wait to get these things going. All right, guys, look over the mess in here, doing a lot of joinery work on these posts. Cutting mortises there and mortises there and tending on the end. Just gosh, this timber framing stuff, guys, it takes a while and it makes a mess in your shop. So, right here, we have two of the three crates that I hauled in a few weeks ago. All three of them came from Wood Miser. Right here in the small one, is a dust extractor for that machine right there. I believe that's about four horsepower, maybe five horsepower, I can't remember. 
But that's just a massive dust collector right there. It's got about five inlets on this side. You can't hardly see. And then an eight inch port coming out. I'm not gonna take the lid off of this crate because you really can't see anything because of the cosmoline and the, and the packaging. This right here is the in feed and out feed extension tables for it. But I'll try to find a picture on woodmiser.com and show you guys what this is as I talk about it. This is the MP 260 molder. It's a four sided molder. And we'll talk about this stuff, guys, a lot more when we set this machine up in the new building here, hopefully in the next month or two. There's actually a picture of it right there, but I'll do better. I'll get on Woodmiser here and find a better picture to show you guys. But uh, this is a single phase machine. It can make hardwood flooring, it can make lap siding. It can do S4S lumber, which means it planes lumber on all four sides. This machine can do a whole lot of stuff, guys. I'm really excited about it. This right here is gonna open up a lot of possibilities here at the mill, which will give me the ability to make flooring. I can take logs straight to the mill, straight to the kiln, straight through this thing right here and have hardwood flooring, guys. There's a lot of possibilities with this machine. I'm really excited about it.